Yeah. No. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Please don't touch me. Hey, hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. What are you doing? I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Why are you acting like a jerk, bro? We stopped you from talking. Jerk? Where's the way from the cop? I didn't pull the way from the Yes, you did, sir. Because you pulled away from me. Don't touch me, please. Because y'all pulling up, what the f did I do? Nothing. I'm we'll explain home. everything to you. You don't even know what the hell's going on. I'm going home. Yeah, that's why we're stopping to talk to you. I am going home. When you start right, pulling right away, it's on. Right here, right here. I'm talking. I didn't pull away from nobody. Look, look we ain't going to do that. My fault, man. If you want to do that, we could do that. Do what? Listen. You understand the reason why you cuffed? No. All right. Now, when we came and approached you, what did you do? You automatically pushed away from no, us. No, I said don't Listen. touch me and kept Listen. walking. Listen, you're making us think you have a weapon the way you ran away. Okay? Understand oh, it. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Just relax. Relax. You got it? You got it. You got it. I know who he is. Yeah, I'm going to turn around. We're going to turn around. My man, it's not wise to pull away from us like that. You hear? My fault, man. All right. Check you were drinking today? You yes, were. I was, actually. Okay. Yes. If you were to drink less. Would this ever happen? Uh, we had one beer, and yes, it would have, because uh, we see so much violence going on in the hoods right now, and, and not just the hoods, everywhere. You know, this, 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 the violence from police is crazy right now. And, and the way y'all approach me, all I was doing was walking home. If y'all would have said, young man, what are you doing? What are you doing today? Going home. Okay. So I don't care about you the see how area. fast that was? Do not stereotype, because that's what y'all did to me. We you have know? an arrest. Against who? Him. Right you. And narcotics. Who? The dude you was walking with. No. What do you mean he had drugs on him? No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He's what do you mean? He was with me all day. day. He's in the car. Huh? He has right. drugs today. Come on, bro. I don't know what y'all trying to pull. You ain't finding no drugs on me, right? That's why you're free to go. That's why you're not on cops. Have a good day, sir. Yeah, I'll be easy. All right. You can be wise about your choices, bro. Take that same advice, sir. Thank you, sir. As soon as I approached him, he was immediately hostile, so I basically went to just control his hand in case, you know, fearing that he might have had a weapon or something, or, you know, just to basically get a little physical control over him. And at that point, he pulled away from me, so I decided to take him to the ground and just get him under control and then determine what was going on with him. I didn't deal with the other kid, but it looked like the other kid had, was arrested for yeah. possession of CDS, so, yeah, the other kid I mean... Yeah, he you know, they, were, they were involved in something. I mean, it might have been fairly minor, but it was something. While the officer seemed certain about that stop, I remained troubled by it. I've requested the report on the incident and also wanted to know what the unit supervisor, Sergeant Constantino, thought of how it went down. I wanted to kind of go through something that we shot the other day, and it's of a encounter. With the uh, gang unit or a different unit? Yo! No! Right! Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Hold on! Hold up! 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 I'm not doing that! I'm not doing that! Come on, man! Stop! 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 You want to pull away from me, man? You had to get hurt. All right, just call for safety. I didn't do nothing. Just stop, sir. Stop. Sir, you're not under arrest. Okay. Just for your safety, I'll okay. see you. I'm going home. Yeah, that's why we're stopping to talk to you. Listen, home. When you start right, pulling right, away, right. it's on. Right here, right here. I'm talking I didn't pull away from nobody. Look, look, we ain't going to do that. So is that a good stop? Not a good stop? You know what? Uh, it starts at the point where they encountered him. I would have to read the report to, to see exactly how that unfolded. But I understand that by perception, by perception only, mm -hmm. that would look like it was a, uh, a bad stop by perception. Mm -hmm. I think what disturbed me most about that video was that I think if I had been in that position, I would have pulled away too. Almost by human instinct, if you're surrounded by people who are coming at you in a rush, you're going to back up. Um, and that was kind of seen as justification see, for... I understand what you're saying, but see, this is where we differ. See, my, my thing is, um, and again, if I get stopped by the police, mm -hmm. and, I, and, I, and I am a police officer, I listen. Mm -hmm. I routinely 
put my hand if I'm in the car up on the uh, on the roof. Mm -hmm. I take all the precautions too. Mm -hmm. But in that situation there, or any situation, I think I would have complied. I understand what your instincts are, mm -hmm. but when you say you're being surrounded, you're being surrounded by officers that you could clearly see mm -hmm. are officers. I don't believe it had to go there if he would have just. But see, this is I think like the key difference, which is that you know, kind of being surrounded by police is not a position in which you feel like you're safe for someone like me. I understand that. I would say, you know, I don't know what's happening here. I don't know what the agenda of these people is. I, I'm, I know I'm surrounded. The idea of complying is like, sure, that's maybe your second thought. Right. Your immediate thought is, you know, I'm in jeopardy. Like, what's happening here? I think that fundamentally the difference is, do you, if you are surrounded by police officers, do you feel more safe or less safe than right. you were two minutes earlier? Right, and what, what needs to be is that you need to feel like you're safe and that you can explain and then the situation's over. It's not that way right now. In that moment, you're actually about to make a stop of this person. Where is your head? I'll admit there's, there's, there's time when, when, I'm, when I have fear. And I think fear is probably one of your best friends. And there are times where you hear gunshots and we have to run to those shots. Most people can't equate or understand what that's about. Your heart rate, when it starts to increase and you're, you know, you're running, and then you're gonna encounter someone and you may ultimately have to wrestle with that person. You got some bad people out there that have no problem going to the mat with a police officer and trying to take their gun and maybe even using it against them. So I don't think anybody could ever understand the stress of the situation.